Do you have a ton of content in SharePoint, but still struggle to find what matters most? With Content Query, part of the SharePoint Content AI functionality, you can enable easy to use filters in your document libraries. In this video, I'm joined by Microsoft MVP, Drew Matalong, that will teach us everything we need to know about this functionality. Drew? Thank you, Vlad. So starting out, what is Content Query? So Content Query is part of SharePoint Content AI, enables us to do some fast, precise searching directly within our document libraries. So let's say we've gone through, if you watch, if you want to go back and watch some more videos that we've done on document processing or autofill to extract this metadata, right? We're talking about findability and discoverability. I want to pull metadata out, pull, ex extract that information, but now I want to find that information. So Content Query allows me to look for specific metadata column values instead of relying on keyword searches. So I can open up a library. I've extracted a bunch of metadata. Let's say I pulled out invoice information. Instead of just typing in invoice for Vlad on top, I can actually go and start to do filtering based on the metadata that I have extracted or metadata I've created in whichever way I've needed to. This is part of SharePoint search. So it's native inside of the search box up on top. This is not something that you have to add into your library. It's not something that you add into a web part. It is native inside of the search on top. So what you see is going to be as little three little bars. It's not a full ellipsis. It's a three little bars on top. Whenever you're in a document library, you don't see that by the, you won't see it there. But when you click in to search this library, you'll, you'll be able to click on that little three line image and it will pull up a filter pane for you that you can work with and filter on your information. This does require Microsoft 365 pays, services pays to go to be set up. We do have a video earlier in the series that we go deep into the configuration and setup for pays you go, but this does rely on that service to be available. 